your thoughts on that? Then? Really proud of him. Really proud of him. It was, um, you know, you look what we've got out there. We've got, um, we've got the squarest of pegs in round holes. We've got prop in the back row, and we've got a, a centre in the other back row. And we've got a young kid from the academy who's, who's just stepped up to play. You know, he's barely trained first team, let alone played first team. And Joe Stocks and come on there and been absolutely sensational. I thought, um, you know, we've got Jack Hughes in there who's transitioned. The type five rugby union player transition. Um, you know, probably got his opportunity a lot earlier than expected with the injuries and whatnot's going on at the minute. Um, I, it was great, you know, we had Jensen Monk out there. His first involvement comes on, puts an unbelievable little chip kick through to the corner and a fantastic kick chase. And there's, there's loads of things in there to be celebrated. I was really, really proud of him. You made the worst possible start, though, didn't you? Um, it, phenomenal. You, know, you work all week and that happens. And listen, the curse is pretty embarrassed about it. I've got to laugh, otherwise I'll cry. You know, it's, you stood under your sticks. It's unbelievable. But we then go the next nine sets and we break them. They error, you know, and that's, the, you know, the character they showed there was fantastic. Um, we just didn't quite get the scores to show for it. You know, there's a couple, we left a couple of tries out there again. I seem to be saying that, you know, and that's the difference as well with, although it's not a Super League game, it's a Super League standard game. The, the Walker one, the Boaf one, the first half, they're normally tries, aren't they, probably? But uh, the, the extra effort defensively from then just prevented us from getting on the scoreboard. I didn't see last week's game, but was there an improvement for you tonight, or was it sort of 50 match? Um, yeah, I, I think last week was a different game. Like they, they torched us last week. Uh, I said before the game um, in an interview, what probably surprised us a little bit was just the pace they've got. They've got unbelievable pace, so they play it with great pace. They've got great pace around the ruck with Danny Walker. The young half who's come in has got great pace, and they've got genuine pace on, on the edges as well, so they really hurt you. Um, whereas the games I'd watched there in the Catalan one, which was round one, all the pitches they played on were really muddy fields. The, the two games here were very boggy, and the whole KR one was boggy. They came to us and they had a surface like this, and they just torched us with the speed. Uh, so that blew us away. So it's a different game, really. I think we're a little bit more ready for them with a, you know, a much weakened team on, on paper. Uh, so there was a massive improvement. There was. There was an improvement, obviously, in the scoreboard, but I also thought in the performance as well. Do you think it could have been any different if you'd have got over that try early on when it was 6-0? Yeah, I think, who knows? Because they, they were doing so many good things. Like what we're asking for them on a, on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then they go and deliver that. We're really happy up top. Like, wow, they're delivering on the things. If they'd have just got that reward, you grow another leg then, don't you? And you're not quite as tired on your next defensive set. And we just can't quite get that at the minute. So I, I felt a bit sorry for them really in that respect. Listen, you've got to, you've try, you've got to, make, you've got to get over the line. Uh, but I did feel a bit sorry for them because the effort they put in, I just thought they, they probably deserved a, a couple of scores there. You said, I think you said last week that you were going to take this week to sort of review where you were at mm. since the first five games. Where do you feel? Where do you feel like you are at? Well, the review um, was quite global in, in it was off the field as well. You know, where, where are we at with the, with the squad? You know, where when exactly are our injured players coming back, and what do we need to do? Uh, to replace them internally or externally, so that that was that was a big part of it. That massively hampers your obviously your on-field performance, doesn't it? Um, but then in terms of, of on the field, it was it's all around the rook. We've been blown away around the rook. What what's probably su uh, not surprised us, uh, but it's everything's been the ferocity in the middle of the park, and the relentlessness of the way these teams are just coming straight through the middle of us. And at times, challenging us less on the hedges because they're just coming straight around that rook. So everything about it defensively is, you know, what do we do, you know, to kind of stem that? And then offensively, what do we do? Um, so to give you an insight to what the thoughts were on, on the team, it was that. Like we played Wigan the other week, they scored one try outside the scrum lines. 